Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Tropical Atlantic looks pretty quiet with one exception. Can you pick out an area we might be looking at? I'll give you a hint. It's pretty close to home, actually. Way down here near the Yucatan Peninsula, we see a lot of convection developing and lifting up over it. We think once this gets away from land, it gets into the, all of it gets into the southern Gulf, it's going to develop a little bit and then move to the north. Most of our computer model projections take this into the southeastern U.S., so this could be another big rain producer in the southeastern U.S. in a few days. It'll be a few days before it gets organized and gets up that way, but it does not look like it'll impact this area. What did impact us today was the wind. Look at that. These are peak wind gusts today, over 30 miles per hour in some cases. Up there, Champaign 36, Danville 36 miles per hour, 30 in Terre Haute. That was the peak wind. This is the current wind, not as strong now, southerly. Still 10 to 15 miles per hour, though, so the wind has been a factor today. But those south winds did help to warm things up. We got up into the mid to upper 60s today. 39 was our low early this morning. Temperatures pretty close to normal for the high and low. 85 is your record high, though, and 25 is your record low. No precipitation today as we saw the sunshine out there and the breezy south winds. Here's your sunrise sunset for tomorrow. 10 hours and 50 minutes of daylight tomorrow. And the river stage in Terre Haute, 4.3 and it is currently stationary. All right now at the airport in Terre Haute on the east side, we're at 65, but look at the relative humidity low at 36%, and the winds are south at 15 miles per hour. Temperatures all across the area, pretty mild. In the mid-60s, if you're going out this evening, it's not going to be as cold tonight as it was last night because we're going to see some cloud cover move in. Off to the west, you can see more moisture out here with our water vapor satellite. That's moving in our direction. That's going to increase the cloud cover as the night goes on. So even though we've got the clear skies, or mostly clear skies now, clouds are going to be on the increase off to the west of this area. We see more clouds, and those are starting to move in, and that's going to be the case overnight. So here we go. Watch for thickening clouds overnight into the day tomorrow. Now, we've been talking about this all week. Maybe a sprinkle or a light shower late in the day. Here we are getting around 2.30. A little bit. There's a front squeezing into the area, and it may have just enough moisture to crank out some sprinkles or a light shower, but I don't think it's anything big at all. And then by Friday, we'll just be looking at basically cloudy skies and cooler temperatures. So temperatures will be cooler the next couple days with more cloud cover, but not anything as far as significant rain. Winds coming in from the south now. They will change behind the front tomorrow over to the north. and will be north as we head for tomorrow and kind of northeast as we head into the day on Friday. Now let's look longer term. This is now Friday evening. Rain to the south. I think we're okay during the day Friday. By Saturday, this rain starts to move in. So right now it looks like it's going to be primarily a Saturday event. Could be some significant rains in places. That should clear the area by Sunday. And behind it then, dry weather for the rest of Sunday into Monday. And then here comes another system. Look at that. As we get into Wednesday of next week, rain chances. And behind that, I think colder weather is going to move in just in time for Halloween. Watch that on this map. You see the blue shadings. That's the cold weather. Well, watch what happens. As we get into next week behind that storm, you'll see the cold kind of dump down across the plain. So a week from today, it's getting close to us and should then move into this area. And longer term now, this is October 31 to November the 6th. There you go. Get ready. We're going to wrap up October and start November with some colder weather. Here's your forecast for tonight then. Becoming cloudy, not as cool, 49 for the low. During the day tomorrow, a lot of cloud cover. Can't rule out a light shower or sprinkle later in the day with a high in the upper 50s. And then after that, temperatures stay on the cool side as we wrap up the week and head for the upcoming weekend. Rain chances on Saturday. Then look at a week from today, 50 with showers and I think even colder than that as we head for Halloween. That's your forecast. Sports coming up right after the break.